Yo, what's up guys, Sniff Wizard here, and we're gonna talk more about one of the biggest games in the crypto space at the moment called The Heist. We're gonna look at the white paper and get into what they got. The mint just happened yesterday, April 17th, and right now it's the 18th. Game's about to release in like a couple hours. So let's go. So I'm gonna read the white paper so you don't have to. Introduction. The Heist is a high stakes risk based idle game built on the Solana blockchain. Set in the chaotic crime filled metropolis named Peel City. Chimps risk it all for a thrill in a bag of Nana. Peel City features a whole lot of degeneracy, fun, and competition. The dichotomy between gorilla and chimp creates a struggle for power and fruit filled wealth. We got the chimps for the chimps life is a constant game of cat and mouse a never-ending quest for the sweet taste of stolen bananas and the thrill of outsmarting their gorilla counterparts as much as they love the rush of the heist uh these chimps are more than just petty thieves they steal a they steal to thrive and progress in a world not built for them. The name of the game for chimps is simple. Pillage the bountiful locations of Peel City to earn Nana. Next up, Gorillas. Gorillas play the role of cops in the chaotic land of Peel City. The Gorillas' primary function within Peel City is responding to heists and robberies and protecting locations from theft. Gorillas earn Nana through one simple method being positioned at heist and waiting for chimps to slip up so they can make an arrest this makes gorilla the ideal character for those players who prefer to be more hands-off within the heist game nana is of finite supply not everyone can gather enough to meet their goals nana will only be admitted within season one but will be used for current and future seasons nana has a capped supply of a billion one billion Season 1 will end when all 1 billion Nana has been emitted. This is predicted to be around 4 months. All in-game sinks will burn Nana. If a user spends Nana on any utility, it'll be taken out of supply forever. So if we uh, look at this graph right here, we got emissions, little different high lo heist locations, and you know obviously gambling and all sorts of different cool things. Heist mechanics, uh, heists are the main feature within Peel City and the only place you can earn Nana tokens. Okay, so through heists is the only place you can earn Nana. Uh, chimps engage in heists at different locations perpetually and must manage their risk and reward in search of the best heist outcome so you have different utilities you got min mints new chimps and gorillas uh stats uh, skills and perks level up stats skills and perks to increase your power within peel city trading uh, trade items with other peel city citizens nft upgrades apply cosmetics to your chimps and gorillas social cosmetics unlock display achievements titles and more rewards hub enter raffles and jackpots to receive exclusive rewards Season 1 Gameplay Season 1 of the heist begins within Peel City, introducing users to risk-based mechanics built around our desire for degeneracy and dopamine. Season 1 will last until all Nana is emitted, predicted to be around 3-4 to four months. With a season-based approach to gameplay and content, we aim to achieve the following. A fresh approach to content timelines and alignment of expectations between community and team. A new way to manage token emissions and sinks, creating new deflationary tokens as new seasons are introduced. Management of progression and longev longevity of game's ecosystem and ongoing events for the community and team to rally behind. Behind. Season 2 uh, development has uh, begun. Oh, nice. And details will be shared in Season 2 gameplay as we progress. As we said earlier, heists are the main feature within Peel City and the only place you can earn, an uh, earn Nana. Users stake their NFTs at different heist locations perpetually and must manage their risk or reward in the search for the best heist outcome. Chimps must plan their exit to maximize their chance of, of success, while gorillas wait for chimps to slip up and make arrests. As a chimp spends time on heist, their potential reward and risk grow over time. Chimps can claim their heist at any time after four hours when they claim different Different events can occur depending on their event table. Uh, when a chimp is arrested, a portion of the lost Nana will be split with the gorillas staked at that location. Your goal. 
Gather as many powerful items as you can and upgrade your NFT stats to increase your chances of hitting positive events while on heist to maximize your nano missions. Heist locations. Peel City is home to multiple heist locations available to both chimps and gorillas. These locations vary in risk. Risk is determined by the chance of hitting positive events and negative events. Each location has a different event table with different percentage outcomes. Each location emits around 2 million nana per day. This averages 1.6 million to chimps and 400k to gorillas, split relative to the number of users at the location. And it says, <laughs> get theory crafting, DGENs. Yeah, so any math wizards out there, uh, yeah, let me know what, what we doing. What we doing? Where are we going? Let's go. Upon claiming rewards, chimp roll, chimps roll on the event table. Event table. For a chimp, the chance of certain events happening changes over time. The event table displays a chance of each event happening in real time. When a user ends their heist by claiming, they'll be randomly rolled an event. The event table displays a chance of each event happening in real time. Gorillas do not have an event table and are passively earning nano. The event table for all heist locations, right there as you see, while all locations share the same events, the base chances of these outcomes vary between different risk profile locations. The chance of, uh, so here's the mechanics. The chance of positive events is static and depends on the location. Risk, negative, uh, risk, which is uh, called negative events, increases over time spent on a heist. So if you prefer to play it safe, the city bank offers you b uh, the best chance at securing your expected Nana with the lowest chance of hitting negative events. On the other hand, if you like taking risk, the Federal Reserve offers a higher chance at the 10 times and 5, 10x and 5x events, but at a higher chance of negative events. Uh, the heist mechanic works in 15 minute epochs. So at the start of each epoch, your event table is updated to reflect your predetermined event chances. These, percentage, these percentages are influenced by time spent, stats level, item, and uh, uh, items equipped. Your nana emissions are also rebalanced each epoch, reflecting any changes uh, in users at the location. If more users join in on the next epoch, your earnings for that epoch decreases as nana is being shared between more players the opposite is also true if fewer players are at the location in the following epoch so more people at the location less nana less people more nana so obviously the higher risk areas will have lo lesser people you know so they'll have the they'll be the ones with the getting the most emissions Oh, robberies. Robberies are the complementary feature in a heist, uh, rewarding items that amplify your ability to su successfully complete heists and increase your potential rewards. Users can stake their chimps at different robbery locations for a set period of time in hope of uh, pillaging useful items. Robberies are timed, uh, timed missions that yield items of different strengths and power. Chimps interact with these locations in an attempt to steal as many... Uh, in an attempt to steal items they can later equip to increase their potential reward on heist. The gas station is the first location chimps can attempt to rob. Chimps have a 20% chance of hitting a duffel bag and a 5% chance of hitting a safe cracker. Upon hitting an item, you will roll on a rarity table to determine the exact item and bonus you receive. Once an item is, is obtained, it is transferred to your item stash found in the hub. Users simply drag and drop the items into their chimps to receive the loot, to, to, to receive the boost. Items and stats uh, grant a range of modifiers that amplify your potential rewards while on heist. Robberies are piled high with obtainable items, rewarding both play, uh, stat bonuses and unique benefits. Equipping an item, it grants the chimp the bonus attached. This stacks on top of the chimp's base stats. Items and stats currently only apply to chimps. Uh, items that grant stat boosts do so in a 1 to 1 ratio. 1% 1 stat cell level equals 1% boost. For example, equipping your chimp with the legendary duffel bag would grant you the range of 35 to 40% bonus in your yield stat, increasing that chimp emissions, increasing that chimp's emission by 35 to 45 
40% while on heist. Uh, items can be lost while on heist uh, upon rolling either one of the following events. So if any of these three happen, you're going to lose your items. If you get confiscated, arrested, or wrecked. Users will again uh, again have to theorize optimal locations, factoring in the chance of losing their items and their increased rewards. Recruiting. Mint new chimps and gorillas with Nana. In Peel City, not all chimps and gorillas have dedicated themselves to a life of chaos and plundering quite yet. Some are still one waiting to be convinced to join the ranks of the corrupt. The recruitment center contains 5,000 dormant apes, 4,500 chimps, and 500 gorillas. Users can spend Nana to recruit a new ape, with 90% chance of receiving a chimp and 10% chance of receiving a gorilla. Uh, so you get uh, 90 percent and 10 percent man i hope i get a gorilla i hope i have enough mana the cost of minting a new apes grows up uh, goes up over time the recruitment center will stay open until the end of the season or until all apes have been recruited recruited chimps and gorillas share the same community same utility as the current collection and can access all aspects of the game Stats, skills, and perks. This one's cool. Spend, spend Nana to increase your stats and skills to obtain perks. Stats and skills grant users increased modifiers within heists, while perks provide temporary buffs across range of features. Users start at level zero across all stats with the ability to progress them by spending Nana. Stats are tied to individual chimps and the benefits received are not shared between other chimps. So it says over here, yield uh, means uh, increased token emissions. Luck is your chance to hit your claim twice, receiving double the reward. And it doesn't say anything for stealth, but I'm assuming stealth will give you a better chance of not getting a negative event. Uh, for each stat that is purchased, your chimp will gain 1% increase with the associated benefit. On launch day, progression is simplified to stats only. Perks and skills will be released early into Season 1. Perks and power-ups will also be launched on Season 1. Uh, perks grant unique benefits to both your chimps and gorillas. Power-ups are temporary, consumable buffs usable by both chimps and gorillas. Skill trees allow users to further progress and build their NFT to their liking, allowing for specialization in strategy. This is going to be a game changer, man. This is going to be fun. The Hub. This is what we were showing in the, in the last video. The Hub combines sociability and fun, being the focal access point of a range of in-game features, including the highly anticipated recruitment center. Uh, it has features like recruitment center, leaderboards, cosmetics, rewards, gambling. Uh, it also has, I see, like news tweets. Uh, you got stats with in-game, all sorts of stuff. This is going to be our homepage for the next like three to four months. Cosmetic store. Ooh, nice. <clears throat> the cosmetic store is a rotating shop that includes a wide range of limited edition NFT upgrades and social cosmetics available for purchase in Nana. The cosmetic store introduces extensive NFT customization, allowing per users to personalize their chimps and gorillas and display an NFT that they've spent time curating. Additionally, it offers b uh, banners and badges, enabling users to customize their social profiles, which are globally visible throughout the game. Items that appear in the store will vary in supply and therefore rarity, with few items featuring for a short period of time. All items will be purchasable, purchasable in Nana, with some items only ever appearing once, making them ideal for collectors. After purchasing a cosmetic, you can quickly equip it in either the cosmetics wardrobe or, with, or within your social profile. Traits are not overwritten or removed. The trait you swapped out will be put into your inventory and tradable with other users. My bad, I just noticed my camera was off. She Leaderboards. Leaderboards climb the ranks and flex your position and earn rewards in the process. Leaderboards will be used to track and display various fields of high scores uh, achieved by chimps and gorillas within Peel City. Rewarding high-ranking users. Reward, uh, rewards include Nana NFT upgrades and exclusive cosmetics. First month of gameplay will contribute towards uh, the Stack Nana event. Users will have one month to acquire as much Nana as possible from Heist in an attempt to reach the highest rank within the leaderboards. After the end of the event, the highest rank user will achieve will receive exclusive cosmetics Nana and more. 
Following the event, we will introduce a ranking system that will run consistently throughout the entirety of Season 1. The rank system uses a conglomerate of statistics to place the user into a range of progressive brackets. By playing the game, users will be able to advance through the ranks, unlocking achievements, and receiving NFT upgrades, cosmetics, and more. Leaderboards will display the user's ranks, rewarding the highest caliber players on an ongoing basis. Oh, nice. Rewards. Uh, the rewards hub uh, offer the rewards hub offers active users the chance at winning unique prizes through daily participation. The reward hub enables users to earn tickets via daily logins and flexing the high the high PFP on Twitter. Users can claim a single ticket every 24 hours with a boost to two tickets on the fifth consecutive day. They claim they claim a ticket. Users can claim extra tickets for having a heist PFP on Twitter and linking their Twitter to their social profile. Tickets are used to enter lotteries, which yield a range of rewards, including Nana cosmetics and more. Lotteries run on a weekly basis, allowing users to enter tickets at any point throughout the week. Your chance of winning is determined by the number of tickets you have submitted compared to the total number of submitted tickets. Uh, once a week, uh, once the week is over, the lottery will roll multiple winners, distributing rewards between those, luck uh, those who are lucky enough to win. Rewards are planned for the release within two weeks post-mint. We got gambling. Risk your nana in various different games in an attempt to re increase your stack. If heists weren't enough, users can risk their nana at the Rambe Casino. The Rambe Casino contains a range of uh, games, all of which cost nana to play. Loot crates will be the first game launched at the Rambo, Ramb, Rambe Casino. Users can open a range of loot crates uh, varying in rarity, rewards, and price. Games are planned to release within two weeks after Mint. So this is kind of going to be like uh, how Remnants has their loot box. It's going to be fun, man. And there's a little a special shout out to the team. Thank you, team. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for the Rems. Thanks for this game, the heist. Can't wait for the future stuff that's coming up, man. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. So, yeah, guys, that was a white paper on the heist. Hopefully, you guys understand it a little bit better. I can't wait for the game to come out. It's going to be out in like two, three hours from now. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. Stack them nanas. Get them chimps. If you haven't already, get a chimp on Magic Eden. All the links will be below uh, uh, so you can uh, check everything out, yo. All right, guys, Sniffle Wizard out. Take care, uh, and I love you. Give me a like. Give me a, a, a com comment. Like, get, do something, <laughs> please, for me. I had, to, I had to record this video twice because the first time I did it, I didn't even have the mic on. <laughs> I love you. I'll see you guys in Peel City. Peace.